Hello there, YouTube friends. Uh, today we're going to show you how to adapt a camera about like this. It's a Sony. Or something like this as well. It's a Sony. To a telescope that it's something like this. Okay. Um, it actually works on any kind of telescope that you want to put it into but the pin on the telescope is how heavy you want this to be so with that said um, you have to be careful on what kind of batteries you use you want to use the smallest battery yet the most powerful battery that you have because if you use a battery like this this battery here weighs almost as much or if not more than the actual camera which is going to throw off your telescope out of balance okay so uh, we're gonna get started and uh, we're gonna show you how to do it in order to adapt your camera to your telescope you have to first figure out what size is the lenses that you have on the camera Sony has uh, normally a 30 millimeters or 37 millimeter lenses so you can add uh, ring adapters for either a 30 millimeter or a 37 millimeter which is actually attached here I'm gonna show you okay this is for a 37 millimeter and this is not an adapter this is just an extender so you're gonna need that you're gonna need um, 30 to 37 millimeter adapter if that's the case on your camera and if not then you're good with just uh, probably three or four of these uh, each one of them is uh, roughly about three four dollars uh, on any uh, dot com store that you can get okay so now how do we do this this is your eyepiece let's just get the cap out of it here your eyepiece comes or maybe not with a rubber band on the side okay it's a protector for your eye so you don't see any light on the surrounding but what you want to do is put it down like that the adapter or the extender they call them extenders too uh, of a 37 millimeter uh, almost fits perfectly onto your eyepiece with the plastic surrounding it but it's not really tight so if you use it like this your camera might fall or it's not going to be steady enough to take uh, videos or, or whatever you want to do in your telescope so there's a little trick we're going to show you and that trick is going to be done with something as simple as electrical tape so what we're going to do is we're going to take some electrical tape get it open here And you're going to put it around that plastic. It doesn't matter if it covers some parts at the bottom of it. If it's covering something at the bottom of it, that's okay. So you're going to go around it. Make sure you put it right at the edge there. Right on the edge. You probably want to do at least three or four turns on this. Okay. The number of turns you do on your eyepiece depends on how big is your eyepiece and how well it fits onto your adapter. Of course, once again, your adapter could be a 37 millimeter, could be a 30 millimeter, or something like that. It all depends on the size of your eyepiece and also the size of your camera. One thing that's really important is that when you're ready to cut that tape, don't cut it just with your fingers like we all would do okay I'm gonna try to show you here what it does okay it does a really bad job there so what you want to do is you want to use some sort of a safety knife so you can do a clean cut on it and then put it back there 
it's seamlessly seamless okay um, once you do this your adapter should fit really tight onto this but you're not just gonna pop it in you're gonna turn it just like if you're using the thread of it okay so you're gonna start turning this until it's really tight really tight really good and it's not moving anymore it's really strong so you can hold your camera on your telescope uh, one thing that's really important is that this is completely even you don't want an adapter that that's kinda sideways like this you want it completely even so you have a perfect picture on it um, to test that all you have to do is put your eyepiece with the adapter on your table on a flat surface and then try to turn it when you turn it if it's wobbling sideways then that means it's not straight so you just make some adjustments to it and that way you can put it in to your camera with no problems okay the next step is on your camera if this is if, the, if, the, if this was a 37 millimeter camera then you wouldn't have any problems with it you would just fit it in there but because this is a 30 millimeter camera lenses I'm sorry um, then you would have to put the adapter here or the step up adapter see you put it in tight and then you put in your eyepiece your eyepiece is now really holding the camera it's not going to move at all it's really tight okay and then once again make sure you don't use a huge battery like this because even though it's going to hold it uh, it's going to be a lot heavier some of these telescopes do not allow you to put heavy things at the end of your eyepiece um, uh, this one here, uh, the one I have, it's a uh, Smith uh, Smith Cassegrain from Celestron, which is a really good one. Uh, this one actually uh, can adapt to any kind of weight that you can put on the back. It's got a, um, a function that's called uh, calibration of the go-to uh, that allows you to do that. So, okay, once again, let's take this battery out. Let's just go ahead and use the small battery, okay? your small battery this you take the cap out of your eyepiece you put this onto your telescope just like that okay wait let me just get the distance out you put it right there and then make sure it's completely tight okay it's got to be really tight so that there is no movement in the camera the camera has to be completely tight now this is how it's going to look like okay this is your camera your eyepiece and your telescope that's how exactly how it's going to look like um, a recommendation is uh, for me that you always start with the regular eyepiece and then once you have your object centered uh, then you can go ahead and switch to your camera okay um, another thing that you have to keep in mind is that a lot of these cameras have the what they call an auto focus okay so you want to set it up for either infinite or landscape which is going to concentrate the focusing on the very far uh, side of the of the scene okay because if you do it on uh, automatic focus once you put it on your telescope um, the Smith Cassegrain has a little tip at the front that's gonna show on your camera it's just gonna show uh, your your field of view with little black mark in the middle because it's actually going to focus on the telescope and not the actual object you're trying to capture with it um, if there's any other questions that you have please feel free to put some comments uh, 
you just just put some comments and and, and let me know and I'll try to answer it as best as possible okay thank you very much thanks for watching and uh, see you next time bye